Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, or LEAD, is a process developed by the United States Green Building Council, which certifies buildings to specific levels of being environmentally friendly and energy efficient. Since the start of fiscal year 2009, military construction, overseen by the Norfolk District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers on installations throughout Virginia are being designed to meet the LEED Silver designation as mandated by an executive order. This designation sets already high standards even higher. LEED is important because it offers us measures uh, to help us and guide us and ensure that we are designing facilities uh, for sustainability and for future generations. It's a more holistic approach. Uh, it really looks at how the building's mechanical system, the building's architecture, the building's design, the building occupants use the space, how that all works together. So what it does is it really requires or compels the teams to all work together. The main reason the Department of Defense is using LEED standards is to have buildings built that are more energy efficient. DOD, after all, is one of the nation's largest power consumers. The other benefits of LEED standards ensure buildings are built with more environmentally friendly materials and that the building process has lower impacts to the overall environment, something that DeYoung agrees with. We want to have a healthy environment. We want to promote healthy work environments for building occupants. And we just want to be friendly to the environment. Some of the lead items that the district and its contractors use include white reflective roofing, energy efficient insulation, special energy efficient windows, sensors that turn off lights when people are no longer in the room, energy efficient heating and air conditioning systems. In addition, during the building process, contractors recycle much of the building materials to ensure that the excess materials don't end up in landfills. Obtaining a LEED designation is not an easy process. There's additional documentation and really collaboration that's required amongst all the different disciplines. If a project doesn't meet the U.S. Green Building Council's LEED standards, it can be resubmitted for certification. USGBC has, again, committees in which they look at the projects and then provide feedback on the various credits and prerequisites and uh, designers and building owners are provided the opportunity to come back and make some revisions. In the end, the owners receive an energy efficient, environmentally and worker friendly building, while the team who designed and oversaw the building of it can take a sense of pride home with them. I gain a lot of satisfaction from being involved in the sustainable design process and LEED certification. For more information on LEED and the U.S. Green Building Council, visit www.usgbc.org. For the Norfolk District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Patrick Bloodgood.